Hi friends, welcome to my channel Lotus Geek. In today's video, I'll gonna show you how you can fix the error page not available while opening your virus and threat protection. So let's go ahead and proceed. I'll go ahead and open my virus and threat protection. You can see the error is coming that it has limited access and page is not available. So let's go ahead and fix this issue. The very first step that you need to perform is to click on start menu and type run. Open the run application and type here services.msc and then hit the enter button. Now in services menu find a service with the name security center. Double click to open it. And here make sure in the startup type it must be automatic and the service status should be running. Once it is completed find another service which is Windows Defender Antivirus Service. This one is the service again double click to open it and here make in startup type make it automatic and if it is stopped click on the start button to start the service at once. If it is giving you some kind of error, we will go ahead and proceed with the second step. In second step, again open the run command and type here regdit and hit the enter button. Now here, in this address bar, paste the command by copying and pressing Ctrl V button. I will provide this command in the description below. Now hit the enter button. Now here in this right main you need to right click, choose new and choose dword 32 bit value. Give it a name, disable anti spyware. Now double click to open it and here in value data make sure it should be 0. Again right click new D word value. This time give it a name. Disable real time monitoring. And hit the enter button. Again make sure the value data must be 0. After that go ahead and restart your system. This problem must be fully fixed. If somehow for some users if it is still there. The last option is. Click on start menu and type powershell. Run as administrator. Now in powershell type the command set space mp preference space slash ui lockdown space 0. I will provide this command also in the description below. Now hit the enter button. So the command is completed, type exit to close the PowerShell. Now go ahead and check your virus protection. You can see the problem is fully fixed. That's it about it friends. If you like this tutorial of mine, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to like and share my channel as much as you can. Thank you so much friends, thank you so much for watching.